hello again it's Lee here welcome to my channel welcome to day six of Defamarimba so Defamarimba is a challenge that is hosted by Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and Louise Heinzel from Junk Journal Art day six it's feathers and a bingo card the animal that I randomly drew for uh, this one was owl. Now I'm going to do number seven as well which is handwritten memory, a loaded tag and snail. So what I'm going to do today is create a belly band for day six and then my loaded tag can go in behind my belly band. Uh, I found when I was putting my creations into my journal that I was struggling to find pockets that things would fit into because I didn't go through and do everything I just put a few in there uh, for sm maybe mainly for smaller items so I haven't got a belly band and that's what I'm going to put in here so if you just bear with me I'd like to show you what I've created so far so that was day one that's day two, the pocket. Then day three were these bright colored journal cards. Day four was my giant coin envelope. So I made that from recycled art. So that rabbit in the middle there is something that I've drawn myself and I just scanned it and I've made various sizes of it. The dress fabric is a jelly print and this page is actually out of a Gustav Klimt colouring in book so that's a scan that I made of that image so this is the original page and I cut out the dress I stuck the bunny in behind it and then I stuck the gel print over the top so that's how I made that one good heaps of stuff in there it'd be nice if it was filled with money that was number five uh, number four I should say and number six no, I can't count. Number five was my three-tiered small ephemera holder. For this day was number or sentiment and ticket and fish was the animal that I chose. Alrighty, let's crack on with today's little project. So I'm going to make my belly band out of a piece of calendar. So I want my belly band to be about eight inches long. I think I might just put a little bit of text on there. I have a bingo ticket here. I can't find my bingo ticket stamp, which was in this set. It's definitely not there, is it? So I've got feathers and I've also got an image of a feather. I'm not sure which one I want to use. I think I'll use the real feathers. Okay, but what I would like to do is something else. I've got my stencil here. So I'm thinking on this I'm going to stencil something. I've got faded jeans. That will do. I'm going to squirt that with water, leave that to dry and now I'm going to do some stamping on these feathers. Um, stamping or just inking? Just inking I think. So I've got some Distress Oxide Spray, I've got Ground Espresso and Peacock Feathers. I'm going to pop them in here to protect my area.
not going to absorb into the feather by the look of it. Okay, my feathers are dry and what I did with the ink that was left in the bottom of this basin, I dunked my fingers by the look of it, but also <laughs> this bingo card. I dunked that in there so that's nice and grungy looking now and I also put a little bit of it on here but it was mostly the ground espresso. Another couple of things that I've dug out of my stash is this um, piece of cardboard which is um, the cut out from when I, I um, die cut some flowers for another project so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put the bingo card here. Got the feathers to go on there and I'm going to see if I can sew these on with my sewing machine without breaking the needle. I've got a piece of cheesecloth which I'm going to put there and then I've got a butterfly which I die cut out of the same this came out of the same piece and that's going to go there. So that's what that is going to look like. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and uh, hopefully I can get it together without breaking too many needles. Okay that worked out okay. I didn't even break a needle so that was good. I put a cluster of the um, thread so I've got uh, in the middle of the um, butterfly. I have actually got in my bobbin brown thread and in my top I've got a tealy coloured coloured sort of aqua teal. I'm thinking some peacock feathers splattered on that would look nice. Oh, that's lovely and dry now. I did actually put a couple of drops of ground espresso on there and I've got this nail polish that um, I just feel that this needs a little bit of bling on it so I'm going to drop something into the center and um, because I can I'm going to put another bit somewhere else but where maybe right here on the corner so that can dry while I'm making the loaded tag the thing should be in threes shouldn't they one in the center of this flower That'll do. so that's like a gold I've got my number six stamp here and let's go walnut stain down the bottom it's probably not going to stay on there so I might just pop another one up here in case that one comes off because that, that um, paper is a bit shiny oh I forgot my owl who 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 would have thought of that okay somewhere in here is an owl there it is which one am I going to use and where am I going to put it <laughs> I can't believe I forgot all about that I'm going to use this little one and I'm going to do what I saw Jen from Jen's Arty Inclinations do and emboss around it. So I've left a border and once I've done that I'm going to pop him right there. These are handy, great for doing stuff like this. So I'm just going around the edge. I don't mind if um, I get a little bit in on the, the actual diagram. I'm going to tip some of this gold over here. Hopefully it will stick. Okay, there's my shiny owl and I'm going to just glue that on there. So there it is, I'll turn it towards the light so you can see all the shiny bits. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside and make my loaded tag. I've got a piece of cereal box here, I think it is, something like that. So I want my tag to be able to fit behind here so it's about the, the right um, size already. 
probably needs to be squared up a little bit. Just going to make sure it's nice and square. So once you get one edge straight, it's just a matter of putting that straight edge up against your um, top here and then everyone, everything else from that point on should, should be straight. So I have a piece of um, a book page here. It's out of a sewing book so I will st stick that on to there. Uh, it's got some of the ink that I used before and it's got a bit of glitter on there too from doing the embossing so win-win. Trim it to that size to here, there, there and there. Beautiful. So I'm going to glue that down. So I'm going to stitch around it. I thought I'd do the corners first with this fancy corner cutter. going to just attach a little piece of this as a tuck spot to go on the front here. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. Um, that didn't punch very well on that side, the corner punch, but it still looks nice, I think. Um, I just used the thread that was already in my machine, which is the same as that I used on this belly. So there's a tuck spot there, and I made this pocket. I left it open here so something can poke out if it needs to. Alrighty, so I need to put a little bit of decoration on there, but I don't want too much. So a snail is my animal, so I need to put my snail in there. Okay, so here's my snail and I'm going to plant him on a piece of cardboard of some sort. I was thinking this, is he too lost on that? I love, he's got a blue shell. That was just a coincidence. So maybe he would look better on a piece of white. put him there then he becomes part of that little tuck spot.
Okay, so that dried up nicely. You can see the shimmer there. I hope you can anyway. Nice and shiny around the edge. Gold splatters. I put my little booklet in the back part. And there's little things here behind this little tuck spot at the front. Oh, I need to put the number seven on this because this is day seven. So I'm just going to pop that right there. Okay. And that will go like that behind my belly band. So I need to attach my belly band to my book. I actually quite like it there. But I'm going to put it on here because everything is going on the... I seem to put everything on that same side. Uh, yuck, look at this stuff, will you? So I'm going to put a couple of clips on that and leave it to dry. I used a little brad in each corner. So it's glued and it's got a little silver brad on each corner. And on the opposite side, I just put some little washi stickers over where the brads came through. Okay, so that's in the book. Pasting my handwritten memory onto the back of this tag. That's the loaded tag. And I'll pop that in there. And stick out that way, I think. And that is day six and day seven completed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love what I've done as much as I do. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Don't forget to check out the hashtag and that's, so it's hashtag Defemaremba and there's another one has started I saw hashtag Defemaremba 2022 um, yeah so see you in the next video so take care cheers from Australia Viru.